My name is Hannah, and this is my no buy year. I've gotten tons of requests for a lip product collection video. I have a series called What I'm Starting With, which at the rate I'm going is going to last the whole year. <laughs> It'll be like December 3rd and I'll be filming What I'm Starting With Soap or something like that. I'm trying to essentially catalog the collection of makeup and skincare products that I have to use during my no-buy year. So it's the things that I'm starting out my no-buy year with. I've done a couple of others so far. I've done my highlighter collection, my eyeshadow collection, I've done what I'm starting with mascara, and I would like to embark on what I'm starting with lipsticks. But my lipstick collection, it's not gigantic, it's not out of control, I think, by a lot of standards, but it's bigger than I think I can comfortably fit into a video. So I decided to break it down by color. So in today's video, I'll be sharing the oranges and corals in my lipstick collection. I wanted to start with oranges and corals because it might be my favorite, it might be my favorite color category for lipsticks. Curiously, I've recently seen a bunch of videos pop up um, showing people's top 10 of a certain color category. So I think Samantha March just did her top 10 pinks and nudes, and Kathleen Lights just, just did her top 10 reds. This is kind of like that, except instead of it being my top 10 or top 11, it's like all the ones I have, and that's about how many I have. So my, my top 10 are my only 10 of oranges and corals. I'll be showing each lipstick. I'm not going to do lip swatches, but I am going to do arm swatches, and I'll talk about the formula and talk about what I like about each color and formula, and if there's anything I don't like, I'll talk about what I don't like. So first up is the lipstick I have on my lips today. Um, this is not the one I have. No. First up is not the lipstick I have on my lips today, um, but this is the lipstick that I had in my, what video was it? My highlighter collection video. I was wearing that champagne um, silk cami and I had this super red lipstick on. It's Colourpop's liquid lipstick in um, Rev. And it's their satin lip, ultra satin lip. I'm not a huge liquid lipstick lover. It's not my favorite because I don't like my lips to feel dry but I do find that there's a place and a time. There's a place and a time for a liquid lipstick. If you want it to be a bold, bright, solid statement color, at least this is true for me. I know some people like to wear neutrals or what they call nudes in liquid lipsticks, but for me, it's if I want a bold, brilliant kind of statement on the lip, but I'm going into an environment where I need to worry about whether it's going to wear, whether it's going to come off, where if I want my lip to stay flawless all night and I want it to be a statement lip, I'll reach for one of my few statement liquid lipsticks. In that case, I'm willing to trade the dry lip for the staying power, but it's definitely not something that I wear on a daily basis. It's, it's something I wear for, for events or for going out dancing, things like that. Anyway, Rev is, um, if you've seen that video, you've seen it's kind of a fluorescent orangey red. It's maybe the reddest of the corally oranges that I have. It could also, it could probably also go into the red lipstick category. And in fact, um, I have Tom Ford Wild Ginger, which is really similar to this. It's not a liquid lipstick, but it reads really similar to this. But when I was separating out my lipsticks, I determined that Wild Ginger would be kind of just, it's like the most orange red that I have. And this is the most red orange. So Rev ended up going in the orange video and Wild Ginger ended up going in the reds video. Anyway, um, I'm a big fan of this. It's just the kind of statement lip I like. It's like, whoa, whoa, girl. <laughs> and I guess that's how I want people to feel when they see me. I'm a big lipstick queen fan. I mean, not huge. I don't have thousands, but I, I have a number of lipsticks from Lipstick Queen, and we don't hear about them a lot. I think it's because they're, they're a high-end brand, but they're not carried at Sephora. So they fall in that kind of in-between. They're at they're at Ulta and they're in other places, but they're in that kind of in-between land where people who want high-end are going to Sephora and they're not seeing them, and then people who want the option for drugstore are going to Ulta 
and they're kind of priced out of what I think a lot of Ulta shoppers comfortably, I, I don't know if this is true at all. I just, I was into Lipstick Queen at a time when I was shopping at an independent boutique makeup store that carried them and before it had gotten into YouTube because I never see anyone talking about them on YouTube barring all of the kind of woo does it work videos about their color changing lipsticks which I have absolutely no interest in. But their regular lipstick and kind of glossy products are are cool. So this is one of those. It's called Vesuvius Liquid Lipstick because, I assume, it's like a little erupting volcano of lipstick. So you turn the bottom, can you see it? And the product comes out the brush tip and then you apply it with a brush tip. It's a glossy, sheerish formula. Sheerish? Once again, I had to change the battery. I'm having battery issues today. Anyway, it's a, um, I didn't even tell you the color. I'm really having problems. So the color is coral and it's like a beautiful, sort of almost sheer glossy glossy coral, but it's definitely pigmented enough that I wouldn't call it a gloss, and it's not marketed as a gloss, it's marketed as a lipstick. And it says liquid lipstick, but it's not its not the thing that we've come to know as a liquid lipstick, it doesn't dry down like that. I i like it, I like it, it, it makes me look, it, it's like an it girl look. It really doesn't look like you tried too hard, but it looks like you're, you've got on a really beautiful and um, in a way fashion forward coral lip, glossy coral lip that you just threw on and you're so cool. That's kind of how I feel about that color. This is their glossy pencil. So it's a big fat pencil, but again, like I wouldn't categorize this as a gloss. I would call it like a glossy lip pencil or a glossy lipstick. So that's why it's in this um, video. The color is genre and it's orange. Another thing I forgot to say about this Vesuvius thing is that it's tingly. And I'm not sure if it's marketed as being plumping, but it's got a minty, tingly feeling and it definitely feels like it's a little bit of a treatment product as well as being a lipstick. I like both of these a lot and I've had, I had another one um, called Chinatown of the glossy lip pencil that was more of a red orange. And I love that one too. I sharpened it down to a tiny little nub and then I eventually decluttered it. Next up, we've got the lip that I have on today. And I hope I don't look too crazy. I looked at myself in the viewfinder when I turned on the camera and I felt like I looked a little bit bananas. But I don't care. I love it. I love this lip color. And I love it in the face of everything that is wrong with it. One being the possibility of looking a little bit crazy. Two being, so it's, I'll tell you what it is. It's an Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick, the original formula, because this is a color neon coral and she only came out with it in the first release and, and then it was canceled after that. Yeah, the problems. One, it's a lot. Two, it's very drying. Three, it's very patchy. It's potentially flaky. It um, takes a, a while to, to dry down, so if you accidentally stick your lips together during the first maybe five minutes of wear, you could potentially stick and patch off and flake off. It's just not a good formula. Her newer formulation, I'm okay with. I prefer. I really wish that they had carried Neon Coral through, but um, alas. And then the other thing that's hard about this for me, I don't frequently buy um, it's got like a creamy, milky base, like a cream color base, meaning it's kind of a white base with color in it. That's usually how you get a neon effect in a makeup product. I have very pigmented lips, naturally pigmented. Like, they're, they're a dark color. And so when something has a milky, creamy base, if there's any patch of my own lip showing through at all, or if the product is sheer, like if it's a gloss, it looks weird. It looks kind of like icky, try hard, problem weird. And so even things like Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar, that lip gloss that everyone's so into, it has sort of a milky base and you can just see my dark lip color straight through it and it doesn't look good at all. I would have shied away from this lipstick for, I think I just listed off like six reasons that you would think it would be bad. 
but the color is everything. It's everything. It's like that shock value, that fluorescent stamp on the face. And it makes my super pale skin look golden because it really sets off the yellow undertone that I have that you would never know to see me in person because I basically look like a snowman. But I do have a golden undertone and when I wear something like this, I, I feel, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like I, I begin to look something I've never been in my life, <laughs> a little bit tan. I enjoy this, I especially love it for summer. It's not summer right now, but I live in Los Angeles, so it feels like summer. Sorry, not sorry. I don't know, I'm attached to this. Let me know in the comments if you disagree, <laughs> if you think I should toss this and never wear it again. Also, let me know if you know of a color dupe for this that's in a better formula, because come 2019, I would totally replace this with a color dupe if there's one out there. This is a Givenchy Le Rouge lipstick, and it's in the color Gypsophilia. Well, it says it says 322 Coral Gypsophilia, so maybe it's called Coral Gypsophilia. I don't know. It was limited edition, and look at this effing packaging. Just look. It's leather. It's like milky turquoise leather and it's got these two studs at the bottom and it says Givenchy. It's just, I'm such a sucker for packaging and this is so beautiful, right? And it, it um, fits in, it's, these little studs kind of fit into slots in the, um, in the lid. It's just dreams though. And it's kind of like the lipstick version of the liquid lip that I'm wearing now, but it's a lot less fluorescent. Sort of like a softer version of the color and it's in a lipstick form. So if I want to go for this but I don't quite want to go all the way, if I want to go for this kind of look but I'm not feeling the like super bananas over the top fluorescent situation, this is what I reach for. And it was a gift from my wonderful friend Alyssa right before I left Michigan to move to Los Angeles and it's especially meaningful to me for that reason. This is a NARS Audacious Lipstick and it's in the color Catherine. NARS, I'm kind of, look at that. I have owned a number of NARS lipsticks throughout the years. When I first started to collect like statement lips, they were all NARS and it was before the Audacious formula even came out. It was like, I have a number of the original NARS lipsticks. I don't have any in this color group, but when I do my other lipstick collection videos and the other colors like the reds and the pinks you'll see I've got a number of like sticky gross old NARS lipsticks um, still kicking around because I love their original colors so much like um, Shiop, Funny Face, um, Honolulu Honey, a bunch of those. I felt like I was good for NARS lipsticks when the Audacious formula came out um, in terms of color but I really wanted to just get one in the new formula. This is the, the lip that I was wearing in my five makeup products that I have that are better than five makeup products that I want video. That was this lip. If it's not next to all the other corals and reds and brights, it, it actually looks quite coral. It looks quite orange. Um, next to all these other ones, it's probably gonna look um, pretty pink, but such as the fate of Catherine. Catherine's also my mother's name, so I was like, hey, hey mom. Up next we have this Wet n Wild liquid cat suit, and it's called Nudist Peach. I absolutely love this color. I saw Jessica Braun wearing it in a video, and I checked her description box, and then I immediately went out to the drugstore and bought it. And then a couple videos later, I saw her decluttering it, and I was like, what are you doing? You look so good in that. Um, but, you know, Jessica Brown can do what she wants. I love the color of this, but the formula has increasingly disappointed me. At least this one, and maybe it's just gotten old. But the last time I tried to apply this, which was when I was filming the five makeup products I have that are better than five makeup products I want, video, I wanted to wear this color. So I went to put it on like a couple weeks ago and it was so patchy, I, I couldn't make it work. And I, I was like, oh, I'll just I'll just layer it on, I'll just make it work. And then I went to sit down to film and I was like, no, it's gonna look like trash for the entire video. I loved the color, I loved it with that look, but 
it it was a no-go, which makes me think that this is probably not long for this world. I will probably declutter it because that was a situation in which I really wanted to wear it and I just couldn't make it work. So I, what I did was I took it off and I put on NARS Catherine and it was so similar in color, maybe a little more vibrant, but so similar and a much better formula for me. It provides a good enough alternative in my collection that I think I'll be saying goodbye to this one pretty soon. But I love the color. Uh, maybe I should keep it so that I can try to find a color dupe in the future, or if you know of a color dupe of this one, let me know. We've talked about this already. I don't think I need to go on about it. M Cosmetics Faded Clementine. An orange like no other. It's such a beautiful color and the formula is wonderful. Slightly sweet, moussey, but long lasting. I mean, I think it's moussey. Sometimes I feel like people think that's a bad word, but it's like people are like, I don't like a moussey formula. I consider this to be kind of moussey, but maybe this isn't what people mean when they say moussey. To me, it's, it's moussey, but it's also very thin and therefore easy to apply. If you want to hear me raving about this lipstick more than watch like all my other videos. I feel like I've mentioned it in every video since I started. This is the Amuse Bouche Liquefied Lipstick in the color Puree. It's a bite beauty product. When this first came out, I mean I was interested in trying the formula because I like bite a lot, but it was the color that sold me. It's like a rusty orange it's like a rusty orange that has enough of a natural lip color in it to tone it down a little bit. So it looks like something, but it but but it's not too shocking, said the girl wearing the fluorescent coral lipstick. I really like this formula. I know it's gotten mixed reviews. Um, and I love, love, love this color, Puree. I have never seen anything like it on the market and definitely not in my collection. So I like reaching for this. It's also soothing on the lips. It's nice to wear. It's easy to wear. The Kat Von D Everlasting Glimmer Veil in the color Rocker. I love everything about this except that it stains. I can't wear it unless I'm prepared to have basically like a bright red stain on my lip for the entire following day, which isn't a really big problem for me. I work for myself, so nobody cares. There's no dress code, and I can easily work with that stain and make it look like something. Um, but I, when I want to reach for this, I always have a little... Mm, I, like, I have a little moment. I'm like, do I really want to handle that stain? Do I really want to deal with that stain? Sometimes the answer is yes, sometimes the answer is no, and I must say that I wear this less often than I think I had thought that I would because of that. So that's too bad. But it's beautiful. The color is beautiful. It's like a rusty orange with glitter. It's really cool. I think um, I wanted one of these when they first came out, and um, the red, I could have I could have handled the red, but this one, it's like a little more interesting, a little bit more... Um, editorial than a red glitter lip but it's still very wearable because it's still it's still an orange like it's still kind of within the range of a of a color that you usually see on the lip so it's not as editorial as her blues and her purples but it's it's more it's more unique than like a red so I I knew right away this was the color I want I'm really glad I have this in my collection and when I decide to wear it I always enjoy it Okay, this one barely made it into this category. It was like, it was like, is it a My Lips But Better color? Or is it a red? Or is it an, an orange or a coral? And when I swatched it next to some of the other kind of pinks and, or, and um, reds, I decided that um, it belonged here at the end of the red coral rainbow. Oh gosh, it's a matte X. I didn't realize it was a matte X. Um, it's a ColourPop Libby Sticks Matte X, and it's called Who Run This. It's basically a rust color, and I consider that to be on the orange spectrum. It's so pigmented. These Libby Sticks are like, man, you gotta, it's like I just dab a little on and then put, like rub it around with my finger, and it's like a full, fully applied lip. They're impressive. I only own a couple, and I'm pretty impressed by them. I like this color a lot. It's, uh... Yeah, because my lips are so pigmented, it's a pretty natural look on me. And I do like to sheer it out a little bit. 
it's a tad on the drying side, but not as bad as I expected. I didn't realize it was a matte X. I thought it was just a regular um, matte lippy stick. I consider it creamy. I like wearing it, and I really like the color. I'm now going to attempt to swatch all of these for you. I might be able to cut the footage in. I'm still learning. So first up is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the color Rev. And then I swatched these two out of order. This is the Lipstick Queen Glossy Pencil in Genre. And this is the Lipstick Queen Vesuvius Liquid Lipstick in Coral. The next one is Anastasia Beverly Hills Neon Coral Liquid Lipstick, followed by Givenchy Coral Gypsophilia. Right here is NARS Audacious Lipstick in the color Catherine. This one is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cap Suit in Nudist Peach. And then right here we have Faded Clementine by EM Cosmetics. This one is the Bite Beauty Liquefied Lipstick in Puree. Second to last with the glitter, of course, is um, Kat Von D's Everlasting Glimmer Veil in Rocker. And then finally, this rusty one on the end is Who Run This, which is the Matte X Lippy Stick by ColourPop. I did the swatches, I did the swatches, I did the swatches, I did the swatches. <sighs> So those are all my coral and orange lipsticks and kind of some rusty colored ones too. If you are excited about seeing the rest of my lipstick collection and my glosses and balms, then please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. You can also follow me on Instagram, starting to gram again, and I might be like tweeting soon, so keep an eye out for that. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I hope that you'll remember to take extra good care of yourself this week so that you can be the most effective version of yourself as you do your work in the world. <laughs> <laughs>